Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of the hottest topics in modern data management, vector databases, and how they stack up against traditional, relational, and NoSQL databases. With the AI revolution and the rise of machine learning applications, vector databases have become the backbone of similarity search, recommendation systems, and semantic applications. But when should you use them over traditional databases? In this comprehensive guide, we'll break down everything you need to know, from the fundamentals to real-world use cases. So grab your coffee, hit that like button, and let's get started. Let's start with the granddaddy of databases, relational databases. Think of them as digital spreadsheets on steroids. Relational databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL, and Oracle organize data in structured tables with rows and columns. Each row represents a record and each column represents an attribute. They follow the ACID principles, automicity, consistency, isolation, and durability, making them perfect for financial transactions and applications where data integrity is crucial. You interact with them using SQL, structured query language. For example, finding all customers from New York would look like this. The beauty of relational databases lies in their structured nature and powerful joins, but this rigidity can also be their limitation. Enter NoSQL databases, the rebels of the database world. They said, we don't need no structured tables. NoSQL databases come in four main flavors, document stores like MongoDB, key value stores like Redis, graph databases like Neo4j, and column family databases like Cassandra. Their superpower? Flexibility. No rigid schemas, horizontal scaling, and the ability to handle diverse data types. Here's how you'd store customer data in MongoDB. Perfect for rapid development and handling unstructured data, but they often sacrifice some consistency for flexibility. Now, let's talk about the new kid on the block, vector databases. These aren't your traditional databases storing text and numbers. Vector databases specialize in storing and querying high-dimensional numerical vectors. Think of them as coordinates in multidimensional space. Here's the magic. They convert unstructured data like text, images, or audio into mathematical vectors using AI embeddings. For instance, the sentence, I love pizza, might become a vector like this. Popular vector databases include Pinecone, Weavier, Chroma, and even traditional databases like PostgreSQL with PG vector extension. Their killer feature, similarity search. Instead of exact matches, they find semantically similar content using mathematical distance calculations. Let's break down the key differences, starting with data models. Relational databases store data in structured tables with predefined schemas. Think rigid but reliable. NoSQL databases offer flexibility with semi-structured formats like JSON, adaptable but sometimes inconsistent. Vector databases store high-dimensional numeric vectors optimized for similarity calculations, specialized but powerful for AI applications. Here's how the same information looks in each. Relational. NoSQL. Vector. The querying approaches are dramatically different across these database types. Relational databases use SQL for precise structured queries. NoSQL databases offer various query methods, often more flexible. Vector databases excel at similarity searches. This returns the 10 most similar products based on mathematical similarity, not exact keyword matches. Indexing strategies differ significantly across these database types. Relational databases primarily use B-tree indexes for fast lookups on sorted data. NoSQL databases offer various indexing strategies depending on the type, document indexes, key-based indexes, or graph traversal indexes. Vector databases use specialized indexing techniques. HNSW, Hierarchical Navigable Small World, creates a multi-layer graph for fast approximate searches. IVF, Inverted File Index, 
clusters vectors, and searches within relevant clusters. LSH, locality-sensitive hashing, uses hash functions to group similar vectors. The trade-off? Vector databases sacrifice some accuracy for speed, offering approximate but fast results. Here's your practical guide to choosing the right database. Choose relational databases when you need ACID compliance, banking, finance, data has clear relationships and structure, complex joins and transactions are required, data integrity is non-negotiable. Perfect for banking systems, e-commerce platforms, ERP systems. Choose NoSQL databases when you need flexible evolving schemas, handling diverse data types, rapid scaling requirements, real-time applications. Perfect for social media platforms, IoT data collection, content management systems. Choose vector databases when building AI-powered applications, need semantic search capabilities, working with embeddings and similarity, recommendation systems. Perfect for AI chatbots, recommendation engines, image recognition, semantic search. Vector databases are experiencing explosive growth. Here's why. One, the AI revolution. The rise of large language models and embedding technologies has created massive demand for similarity search capabilities. Two, real world applications. Netflix uses vector similarity for movie recommendations. Google uses vectors for image search. ChatGPT uses vector databases for context retrieval. Three, market demand. The vector database market is projected to grow from 1.5 billion in 2023 to 4.3 billion by 2028. Four, easy integration. Modern vector databases offer APIs and integrations that make them accessible to developers. But vector databases aren't perfect. Let's discuss the limitations. One, accuracy trade-offs. Vector searches provide approximate results, which might not be suitable for applications requiring exact matches. Two, higher costs. Storing and processing high-dimensional vectors require significant computational resources and memory. Three, complexity. Choosing the right embedding model, tuning similarity thresholds, managing vector dimensions. Four, learning curve. Understanding embeddings, similarity metrics, and vector operations requires new skills. Five, integration challenges. Most applications still need traditional databases for structured data, leading to multi-database architectures. Let's wrap this up with key takeaways. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. The best choice depends on your specific use case. Relational, structure, consistency, complex relationships. No SQL flexibility, scalability, diverse data types. Vector, AI applications, similarity search, semantic understanding. In reality, most modern applications use a combination of these databases, a hybrid approach that leverages the strengths of each. The future? We're seeing traditional databases adding vector capabilities and vector databases improving their structured data handling. That's a wrap. Which database type are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you understand the differences and subscribe for more database and AI content. Until next time, keep learning and building amazing things.